Dragon December continues. We have the top four decks all about to go head to head. Today's matchup, the Baby Guard Dragons versus Arm Dragon Thunder. So, is it gonna be the uh, the old of the old or the new of the new winning this? Because, I mean, Baby Dragon, that's, that's a good old deck of mine. And it has certainly been through the ringer. But I do enjoy these Arm Dragon Thunder, which Mario will be using today. Yep. Since out of the two, I think I know I've played well enough with the Arm Dragon stuff already to know to know how to use them well enough. I'm just gonna go second here. Yeah, I'm a, I don't know who I want to win this matchup. Just because yeah, I know what's it, coming. So yeah. Alright, so let's start off this duel with a quick reasoning. Nice, always good. Um, let's see. You're running that. Reasoning. Let's see. Monster from 1 to 12. And if that monster is the same level as the card declared, send all excavated cards to the graveyard. Alright, well, you don't have any level 11s, but I forget. Do I want to choose something? Because you're good in the graveyard, and you're good there. Let's just click. Yeah, let's just click. Oh, again, an instant level 5. Nice. Alright, sure. Then activate. Certainly Scarting starts off your play. Original level 5. Mm-hmm. Get the levels seven out. And that lets you search a level three or a seven to discard off this. Mm hmm. Select the card to add to the hand. Either right, would be a good choice. Get another level seven out. Very good. Send that level seven out. You get the main play and, of course, a uh, spell card to go with it. Yep. Now let's see. Yep. I'm gonna get Arm Dragon Lightning. All right. Activate. Let's see. Yeah. I must say my hand doesn't guaranteed greatness just yet. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm gonna do this, which allows me to add a arm dragon to the hand. Very good. Beautiful. Uh, does that equal... No. Okay, I was about to do something. Oh, yeah, down. since you skipped right to the f fives. Although you do have two fives in your graveyard, but you might not want to ditch them. Yeah. Oh, I think I'll just end it right there. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> well, I mean, upstart goblin, sure. We'll thin out the deck. Don't mind that too hard. So, you have the ability to pretty much just get rid of one of my cards. So. Yep. And it's sending a card to the graveyard, of course, which you don't mind at all. So let's see what we can do here. I think... Hmm. Is that the play or is that the play? We are going to, in nature of this deck, normal summon a baby dragon. Okay. Alright. I will then activate guard dragon promenesis, I think. Yeah. Send it to the graveyard and power up the baby dragon! Alright. Now what can I do? Now just toss on a Megamorph and you beat this guy. <laughs> yep. Fun fact, I do not have any means of uh, getting a tuner to the field, so the primary play of this deck is gone. So, oh, I suppose I could have done that play and at least gotten two monsters going here. But let's see what else we can go for. I'm just going to go straight up White Elephant's Gift. Tis the season, you know. And uh, see what we can draw off that. Ah, uh, decent. So, Promenesis, of course, oh, gets to go out. So the increasing the life point, the attack point, was just a way to get it to graveyard. Absolutely, too. yes. All right. So that's out here now, and to be honest, I probably shouldn't have done that because I don't really have a a kicker right here because I can bring another dragon back from the grave, but that'll only yield me as good as um, a Romulus, which I don't particularly need. Uh, however, this is kind of a free card to use at the same time, considering what my next turn is bound to be. Mm -hmm. But... Hmm. And you know the thing about Armed Dragons is that the longer you leave it on the field, the more attack point is going to gain. Possibly. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to let you play, because I don't have any multiplay moves here that'll do good. Like, I can do an okay play that could beat that thing, but once again, you haven't popped your ability yet, so it wouldn't be enough. All right. <laughs> Might as well just activate it real quick. Okay. On the end phase of it. Ah, it still sends it to the banished. Okay. Might as well since I. Yeah, I was hoping it, it would um just because of it send it to the graveyard, but oh well. I'm Dragon Flash. Beautiful. 
gets you the whole play again. Uh, depending on what's in your hand, of course, but you can facilitate exactly what you need in your hand with by use of Arm Dragon Lightning. Although this does send you into your final level 5. Yeah. So you won't be able to use that discard effect at the very least. Well, I can always add it to my hand afterwards because of this card. Hmm. True, you could just add it right to your hand with the uh, Arm Dragon Lightning. And there it is. Yeah. That's probably my favorite to discard at that moment. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. 5 and 7 are both the good ones. There comes the level 7. Activate level 5. Yep. Add to my hand. I'd probably search a 3 right here. Oh. No, I can't search out a 3. Oh, yeah, true. It has to be. Yeah. That's I the um, spell cards. I have oh, to add no, this guy. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Arm Dragon Blitz. Certainly a way to do it. Special Summon. And I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough to kill. It would be. What do you mean, would be? Attack and find out. You don't need to do any other plays. You know what? Fine. Yeah, it's completely enough to kill. I don't got anything. <laughs> like, this is him trying to get me to overextend. Yes, very much so. <laughs> a oh, desperate wait, ploy to overextend. Oh wait, that's right. Uh, arm dragon. Oh yeah, the blitz one can't. Or what? What are you saying? He can't attack. Yeah, that was what I was trying to do, Mario. I was trying to make you think that I was trying to make you overextend, just so you would get to. Yeah, I knew that what I was doing. It was it purely intentional. But now I got two. Yeah. Alright, we started off with another baby dragon. That's nice. Um, let's... I really want to get that guy discarded. But I don't know if I can. So, let's... Put out Guard Dragon Justicia to start things off. Alright. All right. Now, let's start with this play. And we'll go for this, get a baby dragon back to the field. Because you know it's a baby dragon deck. Mm -hmm. So we gotta run the baby dragons. The new white elephant gifted again. <laughs> I certainly could, if I had another white elephant gift. Now. This should remind me of that weird fairly off parents meme. It's like, if I had one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do something interesting here, and I think I know what's gonna happen, of course. Halka Fibrax goes off. Alright. Ooh, okay, okay. Just it's to see I can't, even if even if I destroy it, it's still gonna be uh True. still gonna go effect go off. Very much so. Alright, now the downside here is I don't actually have an immediate means of doing this. Um because I need to get this boyo out. And that's not gonna quite oh actually though no. eh. No, it's the spot that's in. Not so much. Because that needs to be summoned to an arrow this point to do, so I could have actually done that play smarter, in hindsight. But I did not. Therefore, what is there to do? Hmm. Well, we know we can go into the legendary triple burst dragon. Uh, we can go into... Well, we can't go into that. Hmm. We can move things around, but that could help. Yeah, we're gonna go for guard dragon LP. Uh, oh, we gotta check LP one more time when we catch these arrows. Alright, Guard Dragon LP, doing his thing. And, uh, gonna use that to summon it. Oh no, the arrow's pointing the wrong way. Um, but we do have the ability to... Oh no, we can't move that. Okay, so we can't move it with, uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon. That was the hope there. Oh wait, no, it's just waiting on you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's LP on the field, Mario. It's LP. Yeah, that's the one I was waiting for. Mm -hmm. All right, do I want to activate a card? There we go. A little protection on him. All right, now, um, actually, this will get real spicy. So let's then, which play do we go for? That's the question, because I know I can get this boy to bring that baby dragon out here. You don't have any more discards. 
All right, we're going to actually, I was thinking of a big brain play, but we're just going to go with the standard play because I think I can do it. And we're going to send LP right there. Then we now have the ability to activate that from the grave and bring back the one and only baby dragon. Baby dragon can then bring out the other god dragon. There we go, baby. Activate. This will let me summon from the grave, or from the deck, rather. Uh, who is it gonna be? Let's do Garmides. That sounds fun. Yeah. We just need more dragon matter out here. Um, but, oh no, yeah, I gotta banish Garmides for this to work. Oh, well. So, Garmides is essentially just any dragon. Activate that. That'll bring back the baby dragon once again. And now we're in territory to go into a Skull Dread play. So let's do it. Just took a little bit of bait. And then we got all that. Now, that being said, we didn't get the sword. So we still gotta we still gotta figure something out here. Um, well, I even do... if you got even if you got the sword, remember neither of these guys can be destroyed by battle. Yes, but seven thousand life points is a lot of damage. So we did get a monster reborn, which is pretty sweet. We might be able to make good use of that. Um, what else can we do here? Oh yeah, well I need to return some cards to the deck. Uh, that's normal summon. Does this let me normal summon again? I forget. Once per turn, special summon. Yep. Let's see. So let's send back Dracunet. He's not going to come into play this turn. We can also send back uh, Supreme King Darkworm. And you know what? Just the other monster that we can't immediately summon. That sounds like a good plan to me. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. See you everybody. Have a good time in the deck. All right, now let's uh, once again go into Pisty. That can bring back. It doesn't particularly matter who we grab at this moment in time, um, but we'll grab, I suppose, you. Welcome, sir. And now, what shall we do? Can I can I use this? No, I already did one of those that turn. All right, that was my mistake. But we use that. We'll get a uh, baby dragon out here on the field. And I think, let's see, can you be targeted? Is that, that's my question at the moment. <gasps> Possession cannot switch, cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per opponent's turn, um, send a card that's already been done, so you can be targeted. So, I do not happen to have a Boral Sword in here. That's a little unfortunate, isn't it? Um, but we can try to get something going here. Um, what levels am I chilling on? I could have probably facilitated a, uh, a more savage play here. But we're just going to try to rush into a Boral Sword Dragon, which means all I gotta do is get another monster onto the field. And that monster, I suppose, is gonna be this guy. Because why not? Um, now, the downside is I brought back the Baby Dragon. So I'm gonna have to spend my Skull Dread here. But it's okay, because we still get to have a Baby Dragon on the field. And that's the important thing. We'll even have him right here. Because that's unfortunately just the best play I can do here. And yeah, we'll leave the baby dragon out here. Just so I can lose next turn without any sort of defense. Ah, oh, wait a second, I could have gone into a link spider off the baby dragon. I'm just, you know, I want the baby dragon to succeed, you know? You so, were really you were really pulling for that sword. Yeah, I mean that's primary focus of this deck. So we go to target and attack. Um then do we activate I mean sure. Oh wait, actually, yeah, absolutely. Don't want to activate a card. Um, now we good. We good. Um, I don't think I have anything to activate. Oh, him, I guess. And we will change uh, Baby Dragon to defense mode. So that's a safer option. Great. And now we can do another attack on him. It's not going to kill by any means. Um, but hey. Eh, it's less of a, you know, landslide than it would be otherwise. Yep. Oh, hello, uh... Arm Dragon Witch Roll, the card that we meant to say, we kept saying that we were going to take out, but we never do. Uh, yeah. You know, you know what, Silo? What? I'm not going to destroy your baby dragon. Okay. I'm going to do to you what you've been doing to me the last time. Ah, oh, savagery! That's beautiful. <laughs> yes. I should have done this the turn before, actually, thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! <laughs> beautiful. Mmm. Good stuff. Love level 10s. That was, that was just round one, though, folks. Oh, yeah, it was. Jeez. Okay. For some reason, I thought I just got swept there. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. It's all good, then. It's all good. So, what's my play here? Um, 
Because my standard plays you would, like they're you would susceptible go first, to you. In all honesty. Want to? Why? Yeah. Because if I can get if I can get my one turn destruction out, then it didn't stop me this time. Or I just never had the, the right place to get myself where I wanted to. Um, but let's see. I guess I can go first and try to like beg in the gate play. Because I have some in the deck, I just the deck's not currently built for him ever since the big nerfs. So sure, we'll do it just for content's sake. Ooh, that's a card we haven't seen from this deck yet. Heart of the Underdog. All right, then what are we gonna do? We're going to play a little bit of this. That'll get, of course, the Baby Dragon onto the. I can't rush Baby Dragon, can I? Yeah, I can. Of course I can. No one's gonna stop me from rushing a Baby Dragon. All right, then we have Draco Net to come out and play. Draco Net will activate its effect and bring to the field God Dragon Justicia. All right, now there's multiple plays I can go for here. Um, but first, we're just going to start this before we mess up. And oh, we're going to leave that. Well, Draco Net's not going to be on the field for long. But we're going to go for the Hulk Hulk of Ibrax. That's going to get us a new Justicia. And yeah, there's nothing too flashy that I can go for here. So let's just start working on the same play. And if then we end up using this White Elephant's Gift, we end up using the White Elephant's Gift. We will special summon the Elpi. Great. Then we will special summon the other one. Um, <gasps> Dragonet to Cybers. I forgot that fact. Uh-oh. Why did I forget that fact? He's obviously the one you go into that with. I was trying to save him for other reasons. That's a problem. That's a big, big problem. Oh, so you messed up already. Yeah. So we will can go for this. Will, will this determine whether or not you win or lose is the question. Mm-hmm. Because I, I can get myself a Skull Dread out here, but I don't get the draws, which is the fun part about Skull Dread. So we are going to do the um, the most underrated play in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Boral Sword and Pass. <laughs> all right. You hate the play. You really do. Okay, so I it's need not to a good sure play. Okay. Okay. I need to make sure I do this in the right order. All right. Pot of Extravagance. Lovely. Banish six cards. Nice cultivated six finish? card hand. Okay, Something I didn't rather. get anything good. Okay, it. I drew the dream thing where I didn't draw, discard anything I didn't need. <laughs> I mean, the deck barely. There's literally the card you used last time is well, usually there's the only thing you use. There's some options in there that I would not like to get rid of, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I can only think of the one, but. Reasoning. All right, let's see. I'll hit three. Oh, you did get rid of my level three. Awesome. And I'll you also got rid of a uh, Arm Dragon Flash. I'll take it. Now I remember right. the right way to fight reasoning. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's do. Hmm. Ooh. All right. Catapult Turtle. Ah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah. And then you distribute yourself. Nothing I can do about that. Get yourself a free level five. You like that artillery catapult addition to the deck, don't you? Yeah, it's a good addition. Mm -hmm. Gives me an instant level five since I since you got rid of my level three. Yes, sir. I'll get rid of the paladin of arm dragon. Great. Some people are telling me that the paladin of arm dragon might be just useful as a material fodder. I mean, it is, but the other ones are better material fodder because they get you good effects when you discard them. That's the thing. Unfortunately, there is one downside to all the arm dragon stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Because I because I use the pot of extravagance, I cannot add any cards off of their discard effect. Oh yeah, add any cards, you're right. Is that true? I thought it was just not yeah. draw any. Oh no, it's, you can still search, you just can't draw. Mm -hmm. Which is the only one that does that is arm dragon level three, I believe. Right, then bring out my level. Ten. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Mm. Now that I why can't I not activate his effect right now? Oh, opponent turn right. Okay. Let's see. Get out. End my turn there then. Okay. 
Because if I crash into you, we both just bounce activate. Off each other. Rah. There you go. I didn't want to do any damage to you. Oh gosh, that's not the card you want here. All right, well, I got a dragon ravine. Yeah, we're in trouble here. All right, and then, um, well, we don't have anything else. So, battle. Yeah, I really shouldn't have sent you to defense mode, but it's not like it well, would have done a mess of damage anyway. Be, can't be destroyed by battle. Yeah, exactly. But I can destroy you though. Mm -hmm. So it's irrelevant. All right. Yeah. Hard to play this deck off a two-card hand, especially with these draws. But it is what it is. I was very fortunate with the draws in the uh, first time the Baby Dragons were in this tournament, so I got nothing to complain about. Mm-hmm. And hey, we didn't we underestimated them at first with all the cards that they had, but I would say. Who? I didn't uh, underestimate them. Dragon Thunder. If that's what you're saying. There's a reason I selected them. I thought they had a good chance of coming in here and taking it. I guess, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Yeah, it's an easy summon off that guy just using his effect from hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably get rid of a 7 and a 3. Lovely. Out he comes. That's nearly enough damage. But of course, the extra protection. Not that you need it. But you can clear my back row. Actually, clearing Heart of the Underdog is huge. Because Heart of the Underdog is the one saving great, the one hope I have right now. Well, you lose this turn anyway, no matter what, because I deal enough damage, and then I just blink the... And then I oh, yeah, true. Yeah, off. two level 10s, you're right. That was Man. the main point of getting this guy off. Yeah. Gotta love level 10 decks. Oh, yeah, but you only deal half damage with him. Forgot that part. Mm -hmm. So it's not a loss, but I do lose my heart of the underdog, which is kind of the one chance I had. Yeah. I just link your guys off, and there you go. Nah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Imagine if you just didn't look at the numbers. Oh, one yeah. for one. Good thing I didn't discard earlier, but I mean, it's not gonna. Here, we'll we'll just humor the deck. There you go, one for one. You can bring out the uh, Flamvel Guard. It's gonna have to be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then, who oh, then, the White Elephant's gift, huh? Huh? Two You're new cards. Out. You draw Hermos. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't be able to play it. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, you would, but you would you wouldn't have any monsters of yours to connect to. Dragon trying, baby. There we go. I can send to the graveyard from I, my deck. It would be so it'd be it'd be so funny if you uh if you just if you just stumbled into something that could actually help you win. If you didn't have the negate on the field, I'd actually be able to play here, but because with this in my graveyard, I have a free summon. Well, it's not a negate, but it is a destroy. Well, you can, destroy. all you need to do is stop, you know, one of my pieces here. Yeah, there you go. Because then I would have had this guy out. And on top of that, an additional dragon, which would have been the um, synchro in this particular case. Which meant, you know, the whole play goes off again. Um, but instead, no. We simply can just get one guy out, and that is literally all we have. Special summoning the baby dragon to the field to go out with honor. And yeah, that appears to be all that he can do. So, I end my turn. Baby dragon, you done us well. You done us well. The cards were just not in our favor this time around. And to be fair, if we were to win this tournament with this baby dragon deck, we would need the cards to be in our favor. So, it's a fair, I... fair result. Fair game. I had I had something just in case too. There you I go. Brought, so I would have brought out levels I would have brought out level five again. Not mm -hmm. for the reason that you would think, but because I had Dragon's Bind, which would have stopped mm -hmm. completely stopped your your deck because they're all below two thousand four hundred attack. Ah yes, they are certainly weaker dragons. Yeah, so you wouldn't have been able to play off of that. <laughs> Excellent. Well, well let's go into some fighting. Yup. Goodbye, baby dragon. And that's the way. Yep. There it is. Alright, looks like the god dragon, the the baby god dragons, they're, they're out. They're done. They're out. They're, they're done. 
Yeah, it's the yeah. newcomers that are going to go into the, uh, I guess, semifinals is the way if this they is ever, being run. If they ever unban those certain cards, you think you would see the return of this deck? Well, I'll be honest. I could just build it better. There's better options that I could throw into there. And one could possibly argue, but they'd be wrong, that Baby Dragon is not the best way to uh, run a Guard Dragon deck. But once again, they're wrong. So <laughs> just, just throwing it out there. Um, but yeah. You know, the deck, it's, a hey, it, it be blue eyes. It's, we're good. We're good here. Or whoever it be. I don't even care. They, they got this far. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Next time we will see the armed dragon thunders going up against either red eyes, black dragon or Gaia. So Gaia would be another new addition, but red eyes, black mm -hmm. dragon. We, we know that dragoon is probably the uh, scariest monster in this whole competition. So, get yep. excited for that next video. Leave a like on this one if you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. See ya, folks.